Hi, today I wanted to share with you some techniques that I used in my quest for the Olympic team a long time ago that helped me to deal with and to mitigate the stress that I was feeling at the time, which was fairly substantial. Uh, in these days, there's a lot of people feeling stress, and uh, I think this is a great time to share with you some techniques that I think that will help. Um, I want to say thank you to my, my buddy Ted. I was on the phone with him earlier today back in Massachusetts. He was sharing with me a conversation he had with a friend of his who's a police chief and talking about the stress of the first responders that are, are feeling uh, and all of those on the front lines of this battle uh, in dealing with this uh, deadly virus. And uh, he said, hey, listen, I've heard some of the things you've talked about, Peter, and in, in, uh, in how you've dealt with the stress and, and that they've worked for me. Why don't you share them with others? So I said, yeah, I think that's a great idea. So that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, for all of those that are on the front lines, the healthcare providers, uh, the people who are selling uh, us the groceries who are putting themselves in a, in a potentially stressful situation, the issues around uh, health, the issues around finances. We want to know the answers and we don't know the answers. And there is stress around not knowing and wanting to know. So here's a couple techniques, three techniques that I'm going to share with you that will help mitigate the stress. Here we go, number one. First one's gonna be standing. And I want you to take three deep breaths, first of all, just follow along. Breathe in, breathe out. Feel your feet. Another breath, a little bit deeper. And a little bit longer exhalation, nice. Last one. In through the nose, exhale, out through the mouth. Good. Now what I want you to do is really simply just shake. I like to do this with my eyes closed, just because it kind of cuts off outside stimulation. I can just be with myself, be in myself, and that's one of the key reasons for me to share this with you, is because it takes you away from all that's going on outside of you and brings your attention back to you. So right now we don't have to answer any questions. We don't have to know anything right in this moment. I just want you to shake. Feel the tension leaving your body. Feel as though you're shaking off all the stress and it's falling away from you. Take a deep breath in. Being in this moment, and this moment only. Breathing and being into your body. As relaxed as you can be, there's no right, right way to do this. There's no wrong way to do this. Just relax. And shake. Let go of everything that you've been carrying with you, all of the doubt, all of the questions, all the stress, all the anxiety, just let it go. And for another five seconds, we will have done it about a minute. And pause, good. Check in with your body, how does it feel right now? You might feel a little bit more calm. Good, we're gonna do second movement. This one. I'm going to turn this way so you can see. I want you to breathe in and your arms go out. And exhale and your arms come in. As we breathe in, the arms go out. We're going to squat down just a little bit. And then come back in. Good. As you can see, I like to do this with my eyes closed again. Cutting off outside stimulus, stimuli. Breathe in. Breathe out. I want you to think about being in your feet and out of your head. Let's get out of your head for a minute or two. And exhale. Feel as though you're building energy 
internal energy, as the Chinese would say, qi. Back and good. Keep present into your breath. This time, feel your feet. Again, all of your attention is here in this moment within you, within your body, in your mind. One more time. Relaxed. No right way, no wrong way. Exhale. There you go. Good. Again, close your eyes. Check in with your body. How does that feel? Good. The last piece. The last piece of the three is what's called the serenity prayer. And I don't think that there's a better time to say the serenity prayer than right now. I've used it for years. Uh, it has kind of a a connection to AA, uh, but this is applicable to all humans in every situation in life. And it goes like this. God grant me the serenity to know the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. You don't have to say God, you can say higher power, you can say universe, you can say my highest and best self, it doesn't matter. It's the context of in this moment doing what we can do and allowing everything else to go to the way wayside. Go ahead and say it with me. God grant me the serenity to know the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There's lots of things we can change. Our attitude right now, taking a moment out of your day like this, and putting a little wedge, what I call them, little wedges into your day where you take time out and you pull away from the outside world into you. You regenerate. If you're a, if you're a, a, a frontline responder, you take two minutes and do any part of this and it'll help. If you're finally feeling yourself stressed out about finances, take a moment and just do any one of these two pieces or three pieces, just the serenity prayer, just for a moment, just to give yourself a break from going out there and the mind stuff that keeps happening all the time, come back to yourself. And be more at peace with this moment, knowing that everything is gonna turn out just fine. It will turn out the way it's supposed to turn out, and it will be okay. Everything will turn out okay. And keep with that serenity prayer. You have the moxie, you have the resolve to handle anything that comes your way. Do the best you can. That's all any of us can do in this time of challenge, and emotionally, physically, and mentally, to take very good care of yourselves. And that's the best that we can do. So. I hope that helps. I'm gonna be adding one more of these uh, movements, uh, a little breath exercise and meditation uh, the next go around. So until then, take good care of yourselves. Please share this with anyone who might benefit from it right now. And again, don't worry about doing the entire thing. Just do one piece of it. Do the whole thing if it feels right to you. Whatever feels right to you. Take good care of yourself. See you soon.